No investment advice provided. This is for entertainment and educational purposes only. How's it going, everybody? Swayze is here. Hope everybody is well. It's Thursday, the 24th of the 6th, 2021, 12 or 9 p.m. Just gone lunch, and let's take a look at ODX, because I've not done a video on ODX for a while. I think it's at a very important juncture, according to the technical analysis, and let's jump over to the charts. We're going to look at the daily chart. We're going to make this video super quick. Don't want to keep you guys too long, and if you like the video or you found it of some value, please give us a retweet, a like, or a share. Really appreciate it for the algorithms, and I hope everyone is doing well. Right, guys, let's jump over to ODX because I've just recharted it on the daily chart. Right, so we're looking at ODX on the daily chart. This is the macro view, the big picture. Every candle is a day of trading. The markets are obviously live right now. We've got Amiga Diagnostics Group PLC. And here we go. So let's have a look. So I've redrawn uh, this touch dominant trend line to the low. And we're getting significant touches. If we count these touches going back all the way to April 2020, we're getting significant touches. And I believe this is... Uh, a significant level of support for ODX. So we've drawn this trend line, we've replicated it, cloned it, stuck it to the swing high from this candle, which uh, was on the 7th of October 2020. And there we've got our macro, I believe we've got a macro uptrend. So then what we do is we zoom into more local action. And with a lot of stocks across the markets and across the AIM market, like the first half of this year, 2021, we've had some significant selling off. We have bear cycles, we have bull cycles. It's the name of the game when it comes to the markets. Something's going up, something's going down, something's going sideways. So this more immediate downtrend channel we can see has been pretty much a sell off. We had a high of about 118p. And that high was around, well, it was on the 11th of Feb, 2021 of this year. And then price began to uh, sell off. But the million dollar question, I suppose, we could ask is, is there going to be a turnaround for ODX? Is it going to find support? Are the buyers going to come back in? And is this, uh, this uh, cycle, this downtrend that we've had uh, since uh, February, of this year, is it going to turn around at some point soon? So let's just zoom in and let's have a quick look. So on the daily chart, price is coming down. Price was coming down in this smaller channel. Now we appear to be finding some support at this level. Yes, it's early days. Yeah, we've got to be cautiously, cautiously optimistic. But the real test is whether or not the buyers can stay in at these current levels. Price is currently at 56.30. Uh, we need price to stabilize, to offer support, and then we need the buyers to come back in to start challenging these upper levels of resistance, which we've got, which is pretty obvious that we've got this downtrend channel, we've got these upper uh, upper levels of resistance. If we look in the short term, these levels are around 66, uh, 66, 65, depending on, on whether the buyers want to come back in and start testing these levels above. So what I want to see before that, ideally I want to see price stabilize. We need to see some nice green or blue candles and we need to see some either consolidation, some stabilization at these levels. If price does not find this support, unfortunately, there is a market structure below where price could even break down to the lows. And uh, those lower lows could start with a three. But hopefully, uh, price will not break down from this area of support and price will come back in. Some of the times... With the, the way the market makers move is they'll break out, they'll break to the low with support just to trick and trap the buyers and to trick and trap the sellers as well. Price will break down, but then it will come back in. It really depends how the market makers want to move price. 
and whether or not we've got the volume and we've got the uh, we've got the buyers back in who want to push this up to start testing these levels. So I don't mean to sound non-specific. I'm trying to be uh, as objective as I possibly can and trying to be as accurate as I possibly can. I've redrawn uh, the macro. I've re also redrawn this more immediate uh, local downtrend channel. Well, we can see we can see this drop that we've been in with ODX. Uh, we got an inverted head and shoulders. So we had the left shoulder. Then we had uh, the there's the inverted head, and then w there's the right shoulder. Okay. So what happened was price came up, could not get past this level. Uh, if anyone understands how head and shoulders work, this is a classic inverted head and shoulders. Price could not get past this level. And they are powerful reversal indicators in the charts. It's been pretty much selling off since then. So that's pretty much my analysis, right? What I want to see is the buyers come back in, form some sort of support. And I'd love to see the buyers start challenging these levels of resistance. Now, if, if that can occur, potential market structure up ahead is great. We've got potential market structure up ahead with ODX. Don't want to get too excited about that at the minute. We've got to take this step by step, stage by stage, and see whether or not there's going to actually be a reversal. Okay, so we're now, uh, we're kind of like fourth day, fourth trading day at the minute, where price doesn't seem to want to go below these lows to any significant level at the minute, but let's see what happens. That's my take on ODX at the minute. We'll get it price alerted to the top and to the bottom, and we'll see what the market makers have in store for us. All right, guys, if you like the video, please give us a retweet or a like or a share. It really helps the algorithms, and I will catch you guys knocking around. Cheers.